Hi there, my name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to migrate your WordPress website to Hostinger. So the first step is to sign up for Hostinger and get your hosting plan. Now if you don't already have a Hostinger account, I recommend to use the first link down below in the description to sign up for Hostinger. This is my referral link and this will enable you to get an additional 10% discount on your hosting plan. So once you click on that link, you should get to this page right here. Then here you can just click on claim deal and this will take you to the different hosting plans. Now I recommend to get the business plan because overall you get a better performance with this plan. But if you are a bit on a lower budget, you can also go with the premium plan. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the business plan. And here we can choose our payment period. So how many months in advance we wanna pay for our hosting. And the more you pay up front, the cheaper it's going to be. So the cheapest price on average would be the 48 months option. However, because I'm just creating this hosting account for this tutorial video, I'm just going to choose the 12 months option. Then we can scroll down and type in our email and choose a password. Once that's done, we can move on to the payment options. But before you select our payment option, let's scroll down a bit further and click on have a coupon code. And then right here, type in Maddox Media and then click on apply. And this will take another 10% off of your hosting price. So now that we have the best price, we can choose our payment method right here, enter all of your information and click on submit secure payment. So now our Hostinger account is created and here Hostinger wants to ask us a few questions but we actually don't need to answer them. So let's just go straight into our dashboard by clicking on the hosting or logo up here. Click on leave. And this will take us to the hosting or dashboard. And here, the first thing we wanna do is verify our email address. So let's go to our email inbox and look for an email from Hostinger saying verify your email address. So open that email and click on verify email. And this will take us back to the dashboard. And right here, we can see our hosting plan. So to migrate our website, let's click on setup. Then let's skip these questions by clicking on skip at the bottom. And now we wanna migrate our website. So let's choose migrate here and click on next. And now here we can decide what domain we want to use for the website that we are migrating. Now in my case, I will just use the same domain that I've used before on the other host, which would be medicsmedia3.com. Now, if like me, you already own the domain that you wanna use for your website, then you can just connect it to Hostinger once the migration is complete. If you wanna use a new domain that you don't already own, then once the migration is complete, you can just get it here directly on Hostinger. So I'm just gonna choose my domain here and then click on next. And then here we can see it again, like I said before, once your website migration is done, you can connect this domain to your website or you can transfer your domain directly to Hostinger. So let's click on confirm. Now here we can choose the location of the server where all of your website files will be stored. And in general, you wanna choose a server that is closest to your website visitors as possible because this will maximize your page load speed. Now, if you've chosen the business plan, it doesn't really matter because your website will be stored on multiple servers around the globe. But if you've chosen the business plan, then you wanna choose a server that is closest to your website visitors. Now, because I live in Europe, the closest position would be France for me. So I'll choose France and click on next. And now we need to enter the link of the website that we want to migrate. So this would usually just be your domain name you're currently using. In my case, it's again, medicsmedia3.com. So let's click on next. And now Hostinger has automatically recognized that this is a WordPress website. And now the easiest way to migrate our website is to just provide our WordPress admin details and then Hostinger will take care of the entire migration. 
Now, if you wanna migrate your website using a backup file that you currently have on your computer that you wanna upload, then you wanna choose this second option. But for this option, I'm gonna create a separate video explaining exactly how to upload your website from a backup file. And I'll make sure to link that video down below in the video description. But for now, we're gonna choose the easy option, which is providing our WordPress admin details. So let's click on next. And here we get the message saying that we should not make any changes to our DNS settings during the migration process. So we won't do that. Let's click on next. And then here we want to enter our WordPress login details. So this would be the email and password that you're using to log into your WordPress dashboard. Once that's done, let's click on next. And here, before we confirm everything, we can see an overview of the migration. And we also get the message saying that we should not change our name service to Hostinger until the migration is fully completed. And also, if you're running an e-commerce website, they recommend to temporarily pause any sales and also pause any major updates until the migration is complete. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna confirm the migration by clicking on Submit Request. And this will take us back to our hosting or dashboard where we can see that our website migration is currently pending. Now, if you don't know how to get to this screen right here, you can just go to your account icon up here, click on migrate website, and this will take you to this page. Now it's said that migration usually takes up to 48 hours, but I've done this a few times and for me it only took just a few minutes. So what I would recommend is to just take a 15 minute break, then come back here, refresh the page and see if this is already complete. All right, now I've actually stopped the time and it took exactly five minutes for my entire website to be migrated to Hostinger. Now, if you have a bit of a larger website, it will probably take a bit longer. But once you refresh the page and here it says completed, you're ready to go to the next step, which is connecting your domain to the new Hostinger servers. So to do that, let's go to domains. And then here we can see that the domain we wanna use for our website is under external domains. So here let's click on manage. Now here we have two options. We can either transfer our domain to Hostinger to have everything in one place, or we can simply connect our domain to the Hostinger servers, but keep the domain on the other provider where it currently is. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a domain because it's easier and faster, but I'll also have another video showing you how to transfer your domain to Hostinger so you have everything in one place. And I'll leave that video down below in the description. But for now, let's go with the easy way and click on connect domain. Then here we can choose the provider where that domain currently is. In my case, it's Bluehost, which currently isn't on this list right here. So let's just click on other and then let's click on start. So now what we have to do is log in to our provider where we have bought our domain. And then we wanna find the name servers and replace the current name servers with the name servers of Hostinger. So in my case, I would log in to Bluehost, which is where I bought this domain. Then you just wanna find it and go to the DNS settings. I'm already here, so I'm gonna scroll down and go to advanced tools. And then right here, I can see this is where I can change the name servers. Now, if you don't know where you can change it, just contact support on your other provider and they will show you where you can change your name servers. So here I can just click on manage and continue. And now I'll just go back to Hostinger and copy the first name server, go back here, paste that in here, then go back again. And this would be basically the backup server. Just copy it and then paste that to the name server too and then click on save. And that's it, let's go back and click on continue. And that's all we have to do to connect our domain to Hostinger. Now, as you can see here, it can take up to 24 hours for the name service to be updated. And if you wanna check the progress, you can go to this link right here, which is the www.whatsmydns.net website. I'll also leave this down below in the description. And then here you wanna make sure it says NS for name servers. 
then here you can just type in your URL, click on search, and then here you can check the current name servers. So right here, it's already changed. As we can see here, these are the Hostinger servers. And there's just one server in Australia where they haven't changed yet. There it still says Bluehost. So let's go back to Hostinger and click on finish. And now we can also check if everything works by going to websites. Then here we can see our website and here it still says that the domain is not connected, but once all the name servers are changed, then this will disappear. So then we can click on dashboard. And here you can find all the information about your website that is now hosted on Hostinger. 